I wasn't originally going to make a video about this, but it was asked, you know, if there's anything that's changed in the past few days, and, uh, there was something that, it affected me more than I think it should have, but, um, there's, <laughs> there's this song that I would play from Dolly Parton, uh, on this eight track when I was little. Had to, I had this little bitty boombox with an 8-track, and I had this Dolly Parton 8-track, and I'd listen to this song over and over again, thinking it was a, a really kind of positive, heartwarming story, not realizing what the lyrics actually meant. Um, and it's this Dolly Parton song called Me and Little Andy. And... Uh, you know, it starts off this, you know, the, the, the whoever, the, the part Dolly Parton is playing, you know, because uh, it's a story. It's not something that actually happened, but it's a story. And uh, this person opens the door. It's a really cold day, in the, and there's this girl, this little girl and her dog, and her, her little stuffed toy. And, um ratty clothes and she's she explains you know the, all these terrible things she's been through uh, can I have a place to stay and Dolly Parton's character was was basically sure and in my the way that I thought it continued was and and then she took her in and uh, everything was great and the, the, everything's happily ever after well that's not what happened at all and I went to go listen to it recently and uh you know, I went to go listen to it, and, and no, she, yeah, she took her in, but then the girl died. She died in her sleep. It's like, holy shit. You know? And it's the fact that it was something that, that I had looked at as a positive thing for probably a couple years. You know, oh, let's, the song's, you know, really kind of cheesy because she's, she's using this little girl voice. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'd play it to just, I don't know, I'd kind of play it to feel good. And then, then I find out this, and I said, whoa. And it started triggering a bunch of memories from my past. It's a whole, whole shit ton of memories and stuff that I hadn't dealt with in a long time, you know? So, that part had kind of negatively affected me a little bit. Um, started thinking about how my mother, in 2014, she took all of my tapes that she could find and all took, took them all to the dump. My tapes are, are what had my only... My only bit of positivity about my childhood. I made all these tapes, made all these little skits, made all these little recordings. And then she also, you know, did the same with my VCR tapes, which included... I, I used to master a lot of my stuff on, on uh, Hi-Fi VHS. It was a pretty reasonable way to record. It worked out, you know, pretty good. You know, this is before I had... Uh, you know, had ease of availability of CD burners, so it worked. And, uh, yeah, all those gone, too. And, uh, uh, just reminded of just some, some things that my, that my mother sometimes does that are, that are very, it, it's, it's confusing because she does love me. I do care about her. I love her. But she, there's something, there are some things about her that I will probably never explain until she's no longer with us. Because she, she has a kind heart, but there's, there's a side, yeah, not, not until she's, She's no longer with us. Would I? Would I utter the the words of how she, of a side of her? Because I know she means well. 
that there's a part of her that is just very twisted. Very, 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 very twisted. And she's not, and she's the one that, I mean, my grandmother's the one that was uh, really, really nasty. My mother, you know, is a product of my grandmother and, and how nasty she was. And my grandmother was, she got adopted at, I think, was it nine years old by people who only adopted her so she could be their work slave. Literally, not, not, and this is not a figurative thing. And uh, if she was caught talking to her real family, uh, they wouldn't talk to her for like a month. Give her the silent treatment for the for like a month, that sort of thing. So she had a very twisted upbringing. A lot of lot of fucked up uh, stuff, and it carried on into the family. And when even when uh, when I was in elementary school, the uh, the counselor was like, "No, you you you've got to get that uh, the, the the grandmother out of that house." And they tried for a while, and then she came back. And it just... And then there's all the shit from the churches. But, uh... So, you know, this whole... That song, looking at that song, just thinking I was going to, oh, I'm going to look back at this nice memory of a song, and then suddenly it's, oh, shit! That's not a, that's not a happy song, that's a depressing song. You know, it just kind of threw me for a loop. And it's weird how something small can make you really, really think about a lot of stuff. Or something that should be small makes you think about a lot of stuff. And this is an instance of that sort of thing. So that is probably what was what was doing it. Um, I mean, a couple days, you know, it, it sent me... Some of the things I was thinking about, it sent me into a really long crying spree. Because it just... There's... There's again, there, there, are, there are some things that I will probably never explain and tell. The time comes when it could never, there's, there's absolutely zero, 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 zero chance it could come back to her in any way. Because again, she know, I know she means well. So. And she does so many helpful, beautiful things. So. I guess I don't know what more to say. Uh, banana.